Today I'm going to show you how to change filters in VLC so if you have low vision or you're legally blind you might actually be able to see the movie a little better. So to start this we need to download VLC Media Player. You can just search it in Google. It should be, let's see here, actually it is the first link for once. Let's go ahead and click on that. We're going to download VLC. You don't have to donate obviously. And actually it's downloading it automatically right here. I've also downloaded a small video off my YouTube channel to use as an example for the filters. Okay, so if you're in Chrome, you can just go ahead and click on it to run it. You may also want to go into a folder for downloads, depending on what browser you're using. Default is fine. And it just takes a moment to uh, fully install the program. Just like with all my other tutorials, I will leave a link in the description below if you don't want to search for it. VLC is great if you want to change how the movie looks while it's playing or if you want to be able to access a DVD or its DVD files and contents. So it's perfect for what we're trying to do today. The reason we're using VLC is you can change it so it goes black and white, you can change it so it goes monochrome, and even one solid color like if you see reds better or blues better. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it. You don't have to have updates on, you don't need the metadata at all. Okay, so it is installed. I'm actually gonna turn the volume down on it though. I'm gonna go ahead and open the video. Right click, open with VLC Media Player. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to monochrome in the filters. So go to tools, effects and filters, go to video effects, and we're actually going to check on image adjust, brightness threshold and sharpen and then we're going to use the brightness threshold to change what we see now this is Michael Myers eating a bowl of cereal as you can see that's a monochrome and it all depends on how your vision is what details you want to see and how much you want to put that up and down so if I go one way, I can see more detail on his face, but if I go the other way, I see more shapes in the background and I can even see the blinds behind him. So this, it, it all depends on your vision and what works best for you. And that is modification number one for monochrome. And I'm gonna close it and reopen it. Next, we're going to do black and white, just turning a standard video into black and white while watching it. So go back to tools, go to effects and filters. And we're going to go to colors. Now, I guess I could cover two at a time. Um, color extraction and color threshold, if you check these, it will turn it red by default, but you can change these values to make it all blue or all green. I'm not sure which one you see better, but once again, you can you can mess with a lot of these. Take the color threshold out, the color extraction out. So for black and white, we're literally just gonna hit color threshold. And you could bring the color back by pulling it back, but if you see better in black and white than you do color, this is definitely the modification for you. And as I said, if you want Let's see if this works. So I just put 255 in for blue. It actually took it. And now I'm seeing everything in shades of blue and a blue filter. Okay, and, and that's it. That's how you watch a video in monochrome, black and white, or color filters. Please keep in mind that results do vary depending on the person. And I actually challenge both Netflix and Hulu to put visual accessibility options on their site. Netflix and Hulu, this is very easy. You can do this using HTML5 and it should not be hard to implement to your platform. Lots of low vision individuals or legally blind individuals have a hard time seeing your movies or watching your content and it would be really nice if these filters were available for the vision impaired. Last but not least, if you liked this video or found it informative, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, have a great one.